channel guys real quick <laughs> hey real quick man capping off my weekend yes i am done for the week guys um last day of my two-day course on the introductory that's technically what they call it introductory but <laughs> you best believe mechanics nowadays or people especially dealership techs uh they have already been introduced to a scope some form of a scope in fact my old drb scan tool had scope capabilities if the pep module was attached to it and i had all the connections which i now do not but my point is the mere fact that they use the word introductory or introduction was uh, kind of laughable. Uh, no, guys, uh, you don't spend two days being introduced to a tool. All right, so obviously there was some uh, <laughs> some learning going on, uh, diagnostics going on. Yes, we spent one day talking about it. Now it's weird because you supposed to uh, your brain's supposed to. Store all this information you learn one day and we're going to put it all into work the next day. So now we didn't do it exactly like that. We jumped around. We, we sat down 10 minutes, go to the car and do an activity 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. So, yes, now it's up to you and your reference book <laughs> to keep you abreast with this stuff, uh, you know, keep you up to date. Like you, we leave with a book, a reference book. Meaning we can go always go back to it and the notes that we wrote down or we tend to have thought we need to keep. We can go back to that for reference. Okay, because there's no way you're going to maintain everything you just learned. There's just no, ain't no way. Unless you're going right back to the shop right now and put it, to, put it into action right now. No, that's not the case. That's not what I'm about to do. But the scope is at the shop. Uh, certain things I know for sure I'm going to pull it out on. Um and there's certain things i'm gonna uh, do things the way i've always been doing them i'm gonna keep it real it's all about speed guys and i'm not saying the scope is going to slow you down and it, it really depends on your priority your priority well if you work on cars and your goal is to fix the car your priority should be to get the car fixed right diagnosed diagnosed and fixed in a timely fashion to please said customer Okay, so yes, my priority is no different than yours. I, however, have a better way of reaching my goals. Or well, I have options. Let me put it like that. Yes, I have option ways to reach my goal. And the end goal is, this is what's wrong with the car. This is what it needs. All right? So you got to get to that point accurately. <laughs> yes, no customer wants to know. I know, man, it was $600, but it was wrong. I can't take it back. Yes, guys, uh, they got to... In the automotive world, they call that parts cannon, throwing parts at it. Yes, nowadays you got to be sure. I have mad respect for you guys that uh, work on any and everything, okay? Now, I am aware of the old saying, yes, a car is a car is a car. My How my last two days went, very productive. I got a chance to, again, a lot of the stuff I knew, I just wasn't exposed to it from a mechanical standpoint as far as... Uh, actually holding the tools uh going through the procedure and that's what we did today in class i was able to view a lot of data okay this what uh this why this how me and a lot of youtubers clash well at least the diy guys this how we clash as it relate to help sure i can help i mean i can help anybody but for the most part we have to be on the same page guys i say this all the time and me and a lot of guys fall out they i get cussed out sometimes because my help is limited on what i can do for you if you're not looking at something at least similar to what i'm looking at and what i'm talking about is like data information yes guys diagnostic starts with input data your computer is looking at input data from various sensors okay depending on that input data will reflect the outputs <laughs> okay yes computer takes input from there, the outputs are activated, okay? It's just simple as that. And if I don't know your inputs, I'll use a prime example. Uh, I don't know, no crank, okay? If I don't know that the input, let's just say this. Let me use this. I, I don't want this video to be long. Let me use this example. Just say this. JT, help me out, man. I got a car that will not crank. 
Oh, man, all my no-crank diagnostic, guys, is done at the starter relay. If the car permits, again, it depends on the year making model of the car. A lot of that plays a factor. But I started the starter relay. Typical ISO relay, guys. We all know 87 going directly to the starter. So from there, we can send 12 volts directly to that pin. If that starter turns over, you got a, a primary side issue. You got an input data imp, uh, issue, okay? From there, you want to know is those calls close? Uh, is those call being activated? So we all know a ISO relay gonna have a pin. Most likely 30 is, is usually power supply, always hot. You got to have power supply there. All right. Now it's getting tricky because the ground side, the cores have to be energized, right? So most of the PCMs are low side drivers, meaning in order for that relay to get its ground signal a couple of things have to be in play uh, number one the car has to be in park or neutral all right that is a safety feature you should not be able to start your car if you're not in park or neutral the other one is maybe a, a security module okay now if i ask you like man i need to get in that i need to get in your computer or your pcm i need to you need to look at data see if those inputs are there because if you're not getting that ground signal at pin 85 at the start of relay, you're never going to crank. That's what I'm. That's an example, but that's what I mean by uh, me and a lot of YouTubers get lost as far as help-wise because they have gone as far as they can go with the scan. I wouldn't even call it a scan tool with the cold reader that they're using. A lot of them are using cold readers. You can't diagnose cars with cold readers, guys. I'm sorry. If you plan on doing this, you're going to have to invest in a decent scan tool. Which scan tool should you get? I have no idea. Okay, there's a lot of cats out there that can help you on scan tool selection based off your needs. I can't help you from that standpoint, but I can uh, tell you that input data matters. <laughs> I, I don't know how I got on that, but uh, yes, my day went well. And guys, I said this earlier when I live streamed. Uh, Mopar has their sticker it's funny how we get all it's all it's an essential tool for the dealership so all dealerships was mailed this tool and essentially just billed <laughs> whether you ordered or not you're going to be sent it and you're going to be billed <laughs> they like bullies here you take it and you're going to like it all right so we're going to put it to use since we had to buy that's it. all i have for now man you look at this guys five lane freeway um uh, we're going five miles an hour do y'all see that that has a lot to do with volume, ladies and gentlemen. Atlanta, Georgia area is volume riddled, volume feel. Uh, yes, it's a mess. So I'm done. That's all I have. I see you guys Sunday on the live stream. But video, best believe video is going to be updated periodically um, on out. That's all I have, guys. Thanks for watching.